what up this is that tolif alex uh, today's tutorial is how to color grade your video in vegas pro and color grade is basically a step of or uh, a process of you enhancing or altering the video look to the visuals or look that you are basically looking for which is grading the entire video now before you do any color grade it's the best for you to color correct your video first and both of my video clip in the timeline has been done a really basic color correction now if you don't know how to color correct uh, please be make sure to check out my previous tutorial on how to do a really basic color correction with vegas pro now once you done do a really basic color correction on your video clip and then you can proceed with color grade now i believe a lot of you guys apply LUTs or what i call it uh, or what we call it lookup tables on your video clip where it's, you just apply a cube file in, in the uh, loot fi uh, filter reader and basically you are done it's not right i mean it's not wrong to do that but i primarily use LUTs just to enhance uh, assist insist me enhancing more of the look uh while i'm doing some coloring in my project in post so um <clears throat> i'm going to show you how, on how i color grade this video clip here as you can see this is before and after this clip is pretty much graded and all i use is two effects here which is color corrector and color curve uh, both of these i really heavily rely on and i use it the most and it does make a pretty uh, decent or really great uh, color uh, grade in your video so let's just say you have an entire uh, project you guys might wondering how do i color grade does i grade individual clip that would just be pain the ass so instead of applying effects in your clip or in the timeline you can apply the whole timeline through your um video output effects so if you apply uh some effects through your preview everything in the timeline will be affected so i'm gonna remove both of this uh effects chain and this is what the video looks like once it done a really uh, basic color correction so i will start off with color corrector and i'll just drag the default one to my preview and it, it's just simply drag and drop and uh <clears throat> basically low mid and high control the shadows mid tones and highlights of your video and you have more controls here like the saturation gamma gain and offsets the but uh, once i done color correction i really rare touching this uh, bottom section here i only touch the low mid and high so in color grade process it's really really depends on what look that you're going for um in this video i was just teaching you guys how to make warm look or the look that i like maybe you don't like this look so yours might be different or maybe the look that you are doing is different than mine so the way you apply or play with this is also different but the basic the concept is pretty similar and let's just say i want it to be a warm look i can just simply drag the mid tones into somewhere yellow section and i already have some yellow look i mean warm look warm feel if i want some really cool um feel i could just bring the mid tones to blue instead of mid tones you can also control the highlights to make it blue it's really depends on what kind of look that you're looking for so um let's say i want it to go with warm feel like a romantic uh kind of feeling i will just bring the mid tones a bit to the yellow or maybe somewhere here like the orange section then I'll compensate it with a bit of blue on my highlights here. You can see the highlights turn to blue. And then the shadows, maybe a bit of purplish blue, I will say. And pretty much that's it. So this is the before and after of really basic color corrector grade. You can see the midtones and the highlights are well affected. You can increase it more, but not too much. Um, some people will like this kind of look. Some people don't like I personally don't like it. I'll always try to grade and make sure it doesn't affect the skin tone here. So maybe just a really subtle amount of mood, movement should be okay. Now, the second one that I like to use is Color Curve. Color Curve is also a really powerful tool if you know how to use it. 
and I would like to go through each of these individual channels red green and blue again if you understand how color works and how you mix and match up then you you will get the look that you are basically looking for so again I want this video to have a warm feel so let's let's go to the red channel now if if, if I increase the red on the highlight section it'll turn red and it'll turn blue if I bring down the red so um for the red maybe I would like to have a really bluish highlights here now it tends to somewhat cool kind of feel and I want to increase the shadows of the red to give it like a bit more of the um, old 80s vibe kind of warm feel here now um, if I go to the green section I want I want the green of the tree to pop out even more so I can just increase the green slightly not too much and reduce it a bit here down I think that's fine and again I want to maintain the warm feel the blue I'll just bring the highlights of the blue down even more and maybe increase the shadow of the blue just a slight bit and pretty much that's it and this is really rough and simple color great as you can see this is before and after a really subtle amount of movement should affect your uh your video so um i hope you guys like watching this tutorial and i'll be covering more color coloring tutorial in the future and uh, if you have any question related uh, you can just leave it down in the comment section so see you guys on my next video